Hi, my name is Dr. Sam Kim. I'm the Director of Robotic Thoracic Surgery here at Northwestern Medicine. Today, I'm treating a patient with early stage lung cancer using Da Vinci Robot. So please join me and follow inside my operating room. So this is a 75-year-old female with approximately one centimeter uh, lung cancer in her right or upper lobe of the lung. Now traditionally for stage one cancer like this, the surgeons will make a large incision across their chest wall and actually either break or, or spread the rib and then do the operation. Here at Northwestern, we are using a Da Vinci robot to target the area that is affected by the cancer only and we're specifically removing one segment of the lung so the patient has more lung after the surgery and able to breathe better and easier and recover faster. Since uh, the nodule is so small and, and it's deep inside the lung, I had Dr. Argenta tattoo the area uh, using a navigation bronchoscopy so that when we go inside the uh, patient's chest using a camera, we're able to see the area where the cancer is in it. This is the right side of the patient's chest wall. The patient's face is pointing this way. So I'm marking where the ribs are. And then we're gonna put a uh, small port like this. And then the, through this port, the robotic camera and instruments will go in. We're putting a little bit of uh, carbon dioxide uh, this will uh, effectively uh, collapse the lung for us so that we have enough space to do the operation. Now we're connecting the robotic arm to this cannula, the porch that we just put previously. And uh, these are my assistants who's going to be at the best side, able to give me the instruments I need while I'm doing the operation at the console over there. From this uh, viewing box, I'm able to see what's going on inside the chest and perform the operation. The movement is actually fairly similar to how you would uh, play a video game. So if you have a sons and daughter who are interested in playing video game, you, you, you may never know that that person may become a thoracic surgeon down the road. This is the area of the lung that has tumor in it. So we're going to remove this part of the lung while preserving this segment of the lung. So this is the vein to the uh, lung where the blood from the lung is being drained to the rest of the body. And then this is the artery to the lung where the blood is actually coming to the lung. If I remove these uh, two uh, vessels, then I should be able to get to the uh, airway uh, to this lung and then once we divide that and then rest of the lung, we should be done with the operation. So when we tattoo the lung using the dye, it had the blue marker on it, but it also had a fluorescent marker. So it's a double way for us to check where the nodule is. So the fluorescent dye now we're giving through the body. And then basically we'll check the vasculature of this segment of the lung to see, make sure that we got everything. And if we got everything, rest of the lung will light up like a Christmas tree, but the, the, the part of the lung that we are taking out should not glow at all. So we could move the robot out now. Thank you. So I retrieved the lung specimen in a bag. And this is the amount of the lung we took out. This is the area we tattooed before the operation. We're able to spare approximately two thirds of her right upper lung while removing the uh, cancer completely. The operation today went really well, so her quality of life after the surgery should be much improved. She'll stay in the hospital approximately two days and should be able to discharge home. Thank you very much for joining me inside the operating room today. Bye-bye.